Holy cow, the zero fluffing. Look at this. We are doing two distributions and they're relatively large numbers. I'm a little nervous about this, hence the weird accent. All right, so remember the number one thing to look for is to see if the numbers here have anything in common. 32 and 27. Oh man, 32 and 27 have nothing in common. So I can't even wax out the numbers in front. Remember students, if you saw something like this, if you saw like 12 and stuff equals like 10 and stuff, you could at least wax out a two, okay? And then make that a five and make that a six, okay? But we, oh, we don't even have that, gross. We just gotta straight up go old school with it. So distribute, distribute. Distribute, distribute. Now these are relatively large numbers, so don't be afraid to use a calculator. It's a tool, you have it, use it. Here we go. So I'm gonna do all my multiplications. Give myself some room to operate here. 32 times nine is a number known as, ew, 288. 288, what's my variable? Q, that's creative. 32 times 103 is, ew, look at you. Is it plus? Yeah, it's plus. Three. Two nine six equals twenty seven times seven is one hundred and eighty nine Q, and then twenty seven times two fifty five is U six thousand seventy five. All right, woof da. Okay, making it work with some big old numbers here. Big whoop minus one hundred and eighty nine Q minus one hundred and eighty nine Q. All right, so we have. 288 minus 189, boom. Oh, 99Q, nice. 99Q plus 3296. Now, technically, I could have like subtracted this and then subtracted that from both sides to like, oh, you know what? I'll do that. Minus 32. I'll do two steps in one, okay? As long as I do the math correctly, do I really need to follow the perfect steps? No, not always. I'm still doing the math right. I was going to do it anyway. Might as well just knock it out in one swing. So 60, 75 minus 32, 96. Boom is going to be 2779. Divide both sides by 99. Here we go. 2779 divided by 99. Oof, these big numbers. 28 point, nearest tenth, 28.1. All right, cool. All right, so remember, there is also a shortcut to some of these goofier looking ones. Um, you can just identify the bigger variable. Oh, this is the bigger variable. How much more does this variable have? 99. Oh, so if you are the bigger variable, I gotta figure out how much more you have. Okay, so you have 2779 more. So I could have students skipped right to this part with a little bit of mental math, but it's still nice to write these out, especially with these giant numbers. Okay. So again, one of the nice shortcuts is if you do the difference in the numbers, okay, over the difference in the variables, you'll get the same, you'll get the correct answer. Now you just gotta be careful how you do it. If this one is bigger, you gotta find this one's different. So you can't just pick the same side. Anyway, so it's kind of advanced shortcut. Use it if you want. Otherwise, your one, two, three steps also work. All right, that was the zero fluffing.